This year's Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon on October 7th will have a special entry in the 8K road race. Eight members of Move Adapted Fitness will walk or wheel one kilometer each in relay fashion. Veronica Cooper tells us more. Welcome to Move Adapted Fitness. This not-for-profit gym may be small, but it's huge to its members. MOVE is a gym for people with physical disabilities. We're all volunteer based um, and we cater to people with neurological disorders, Parkinson's, MS, uh, cerebral palsy, spinal cord injury, but it's not limited to just those things. Verville is MOVE's kinesiologist and the gym's coordinator. And everyone else is a volunteer either from a Camosun or a UVic program, all in kind of the exercise wellness realm. So there's a lot of knowledge there. Two, one. This is MOVE's fourth year as a Czech charity recipient in the Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon. It's the gym's biggest fundraiser. So in the past what we've done is had volunteers sign up and run and fundraise. But this year, eight gym members are in training to take on the 8K in relay fashion. None of us can really run in the first place, so those of us who can are going to walk one or more kilometers and then pass off our imaginary baton to the next person. We've got to raise awareness, we've got to raise funds. So it was a no-brainer to decide to be part of this. Because the gym means a lot to its members. It was a catalyst for me to turn my life around somewhat because I had never worked out before. So, and I didn't think I could. The volunteers are passionate about MOVE too. I wanted to gain experience into occupational therapy or physiotherapy because that's my career choice. You learn a lot here <clears throat> and it's really nice seeing the members improve constantly. The more the baby boomers uh, blossom, the more their illnesses are going to be a factor and they're going to want a place to stay healthy and strong. You can make a pledge to support MOVE through the links tab on our website. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.